Took a swing at a wrecking ball And I prayed for my downfall And I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield Where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game Well hello and do welcome we back So we're at Carlisle Golf Club and we are on the sixth hole, par four. But before we get into that, how is everybody? Did you have a nice Christmas and a good new year? Hope you did and I hope you got everything you wanted. I hope you got lots of golf stuff and um, probably got lots of Lynx Africa as well, if I'm honest. Um, I've done it again. Paul Jackson will be having me for that one. Anyway. So, I'm here with that man right there. Hello! Who you may have seen in a previous video, um, has got a new set of golf clubs. So, one thing we need to do is, we're gonna have a little three hole match. Or we're just gonna do three holes. Match yeah. or three holes? Three holes. Three holes, right, and what do you wanna do? I wanna you swap the... Swap the tees again? Swap the tees. Right, so then you hitting that golf ball will be no good to anybody because it's not mine, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, you've got that hat on and you look like an elf. Aye, uh, I don't care. Keeps my head warm. Good lad. Right, so like I say, eighth hole, it looks like this. And um, Dad's hitting my ball. Hope he doesn't put me in the trees again. <laughs> Right then, on the tee, the golf father, hitting my golf ball. Strike. Down there, I've just seen it drop. That's nice, well done. At least it isn't over where you put me the last time. That's got potential to be close to the green. Sorry, we're just having a conversation of plotting Dad's way around the golf course. Knowing where his bad shot goes, his bad shot goes to the right as the slice. So, if we, for example, on this hole here, we aimed for that tree there. Best case scenario, it goes just over there. Worst case scenario, with his slice, it goes in the middle of the fairway. And I think this is key to to your game, is know where your bad shot will finish should you hit that shot. Yeah, no? And I'm in the middle of the fairway. So, yeah, he's in the middle of the fairway. Oh, my heart isn't straight. He's hit the fairway. He had a little feathery fade, so it was perfect. That line is perfect for him on this hole. So, I think that the pivotal point I'm trying to make is pick a point, know where your bad shot goes, so if you hit it left, find a point that worst case scenario, if it does go left, you're still going to be in the fairway. There's a free tip. So this is leave golf nuts playing up on mat. Uphill, cool. He's going to go for the centre of the green, six, uh, like a three quarter six iron, and uh, see what prevails. Bunker. Uh, in the bunker. Yeah. It's in the the bunker. Right club, just the right shot, I just cut it a little bit too much. So, like Dad was saying, uh, through the winter months of Carl, I don't know what it's like at your golf course. But at Carlisle, we have to play off a mat if we're on the fairway. If we're not, if we're in the rough, it's fine. We can hit it from there. And generally, as a rule of thumb, I will kick it into the rough and play from there because at least I can get club on ball on ground on grass. And for me, that feels a little bit better, which is ironic, really, because I go to the driving range and do a lot of practicing as well. But we all like what we like for the reasons that we like. So yeah, what do you do at your golf course? Do you protect the fairways like that? Or do you just play off them? 
Let me know. Comment down below and let me know. So I've hit a screamer, as in there's the ball, there's the hole. We are literally but 20 yards away. Eight iron. Which that. If you want to do it, do you want to do an eight iron bump and run? Yeah. Is that the shot you want to go for? You go for it then. You do what you feel most comfortable with. If it did it. If you did it, not to worry though. But this is the idea of this, is you putting you in a position. You know, if you came here for your second shot, you know, what would you do? Yeah. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's fine. So he's going for a revisit on the air iron bump and run. And that is a lot better. <laughs> Unbelievable. Aye, I went to dust it. Is that in the circle of love? Yours is, aye. You can have that. That's terrible from me. That's alright. Not to worry. Well, fives a piece, and, and mine was just simply down to that chip that was absolutely honking. At least, we, at least we're out and about, that's the main thing. Right, next hole is the seventh, but it's on a winter tee and a winter green, and the winter green is right there behind that bunker so no point in doing a flyover because they haven't got it for this all at the minute so dad's going with big stick again so on this hole right if your bad one goes to the right we need to be aiming just at that bunker on the left for anybody who can't see the bunker that one That's fine. You slipped. It's gone over there. Just down there by that mound. It wasn't the greatest strike lad to know, that's right. He's put me on a slightly uphill lie, going from left to right downhill, but the green's on it there, so we're only going to flick a wedge in. Just kick to the right. So yeah, just kick to the right a little. Here's where it is. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm not that fussed. I'm just happy to be playing golf here. Yeah. So I've just asked him what he's going to do. Are you going to shout to him what you're going to do? Eight iron bump and run. He loves this eight iron bump and run. And that's why. <laughs> oh, what a shot, lad! What a shot! Yeah. You're unbelievable, you. Oh! Turn the edge. So, winter green, ice rink, job done. I mean, it went in the hole, so that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, pick it up. That didn't. <laughs> it died. So this next one is a made-up par three. 
and it's made up because there's the green to what would be the seventh with it just short and if I show you sorry eager pants there obviously this is the seventh fairway so it's a made up par three and uh, yeah this could be interesting because I ain't played this all before six iron eh? go on then Absolutely nailed that. Literally that was just that kind of area there. That was absolutely nailed. Well done. Great strike. I see to the right we've both pretty much gone in the same kind of area which is just to the right hand side of the green it'll be interesting to see where they've gone like I say he is absolutely malted his six iron beautiful strike beautiful and I have it a soft nine let's see where they've gone it's getting a bit dark as well and there's the other we were literally pretty neck and neck and that's where dad's put mine in reflection to the hole is just right there and I've put dad's there so I've done worse so I do apologize not even bothered come on then <laughs> oh winter golf at its finest don't you just love it <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not holding out hope for this, if I'm honest. Pick <laughs> <laughs> it up. Give up. Give up. So there we go. There is alternate drive done. That is one of dad's favorite things that we do so he wanted to do it we did it it's uh, it's a bit nippy the course is winter conditions but we had a good frost yesterday or this morning so ground's playing hard but hey that's life but hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you again soon bye for now bye Dad? bye thank you Please like